Okay, it's been a while, but you know what time it is. Job review. Job number one, QA analyst with uh, Seller Ready. <laughs> it is a remote position in Dallas, Texas. And it, ultimately, you need to have a minimum of four years experience. We know how to use transferable experience. And I'm not going to go through this because this is such a simple job description that every single one of my Road to QAers can go for this. And if you have mortgage experience, you are an ideal candidate and you have transferable skills. Let's go. Job number two is a QA analyst with Clever Tech. We're going to scroll on down. This role is focused on manual testing. Y'all say no jobs out here, but they are here. You're just competing against more people. Requirements, five years of experience. We know how to use that transferably. Uh, knowledge of QA methodology. Ability to effectively manage uh, projects. Advanced English. Strong attention to detail. I mean, need I say more? All right, job number two is with interactive resources. 55 to 75 a year, we want 75, not 55. We're gonna scroll on down to years of experience, quality assurance, uh, technical degree, or in strong interest in quality assurance. You got interest because you've been enrolled to QA. The only thing it looks like you need to study for is working the command line knowledge of Linux. This allow you to stand up, stand out, so all of my road to QAers can go for this, but I say focus on that Linux part to stand out. All right, and I love this one, 100 to 120. Now, I'm going to skip down because I want you to focus on this. Every single one of you can go to this roll and roll, uh, roll and roll the QA, but I want you to focus on the API testing that's going to make you stand apart and basic working knowledge of Git.